What's up? It's Brad. I'm here with Robert DeLong. We are upstairs at the Hard Rock, this cool little green room that's purple. And um, Robert DeLong played Seattle's, we call it Seattle's Music and Art Festival, Bumbershoot. Yeah, I did. It was great. I had a great time. It was amazing. For you, so you, so tell me the, okay, so we always call you a local artist, right? But that's just claiming things, right? So can you tell me the story of how we get to you being local? Yeah, so I grew up in Bothell, which is, you know, 25 minutes northeast of, of Seattle. And, um, yeah, uh, and then, you know, I lived there until I was 18. And then I uh, moved down to Los Angeles to go to school and do that whole thing. And I've lived down there ever since. But to be fair, I'm, I'm in uh, Seattle probably a good uh, two weeks a year at least. So I feel like I still live here a little bit. But, um, but, uh, but yeah, no, I, it's all lies. I'm not from Seattle anymore. <laughs> <laughs> How young are you now? I'm... I, I'm I'm 18, still 18, after these 11 years. No, I'm 29. <laughs> you look 17, so it's fine. Because <laughs> I'm younger than you and look at least 10 years older. I live harder than you, Robert. Do you? I don't know. We'll, we'll have a contest later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down for that. Uh, tell me a little bit about um, the success of Long Way Down, what that's meant for you. And then also, uh, kind of, I want to know a little bit about what happened before Long Way Down, but we'll get that next. Totally, yeah. I mean, uh, Long Way Down has been has been amazing. It's opened lots of doors, and it, you know, I think the coolest thing about Long Way Down is that because it's a single that's gotten a lot of airplay around the states. Um, when I've done a lot of touring, people have now kind of gone and investigated a lot of my material, and, and now when I'm playing shows, people know my lyrics live and are like, you know, kind of into the Robert Long thing as opposed to me introducing myself to people all the time, which is amazing. It's great. How did you used to introduce yourself? Hey. Hey guys, this is Robert DeLong. <laughs> <laughs> Creepily, and these are my, this is my band members, and I hope you like my stuff, man. Uh, so, is it different now playing much bigger kind of venues, or are you still doing the medium thing? Or how's it going for you while you're out playing? You know, it's so all over the place. I mean, you know, one day we'll be playing a festival for ten thousand people. The next day, I'll be in a you know three hundred person club in uh, the Midwest. So it's just you know every day is a new day in that way. But uh, um, you know, I kind of love that. You know, it's kind of a fun thing because, like, the club setting is so intimate. You really get to, like, show people what you're doing. And it's, like, you know, kind of a party with you and them. And then, obviously, when you're playing a festival, it's amazing. It's, like, you know, you get to connect with a ton of people and have a giant sound system and everything. Plus, didn't you play main stage at Bumbershoot? I did. It was great. And it was so crazy. I saw R.E.M. and Wilco play there 12 years ago. So it's kind of, a you know, kind of blew my mind a little bit. Yeah. I, uh, I wonder. So, you know, you went to school at 18 in L.A., uh, and then what's the progression from, and you can long story short it if you want, <laughs> from 18 to long way down? Yeah, no, I mean, uh, you know, I went to school, I studied music, I, I played uh, in a bunch of like indie and folk bands down in Los Angeles and all the while, you know, studying jazz and stuff like that. And then, you know, I taught drum lessons after school and that was how I made money and I had a little recording studio where I recorded bands that I was playing in and some other bands and uh, all the while I was just writing my own music on the side and that ended up just kind of taking over i mean it ended up you know i wrote f some songs that people liked and that was good and and so then i started doing my weird live thing because i just didn't want to be in another band you know it was just too much work to organize people's schedules and that and uh and and you know and have to disagree with people about things so i can only disagree with myself now which is nice uh yeah and then i started you know just kind of doing this thing and then i got signed by glass note and uh that's kind of a wild ride ever since that was about three years ago so and, you know, so there have been a few artists. Uh, Greg Holden pops into my head. I don't know if you know who he is. Um, but he's a great singer-songwriter who was like, I think I'm done writing for other people. I think I'm just going to use this stuff for myself and, and hit the road. W was that decision process, like, what is that like to be like, I'm done with that. I'm going to do this. You know, it wasn't really a – it wasn't like a conscious decision at the time. You know, it was about four years ago that it was just – uh, there was a lot of opportunities opening up for me and I was like well I'd love to take advantage of it at this point because it's like I was in so many bands and you know and some of them were getting you know a little bit of traction here and there but my thing seemed like it was taking off so it was just like follow you know follow the carrots you know whatever made sense and uh follow the carrot I guess and so I'm eating a carrot I don't know if that makes any I don't this, this analogy is done I think but <laughs> <laughs> what uh, what is next for you do you think 
Well, what is next for me? I mean, uh, the rest of this fall, I'm going to be touring. Uh, and I imagine I'll probably be touring until I'm dead after I release this record on September 18th. You're dying after this record? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's it's going to be a long record cycle. Um, uh, no, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, really just touring, 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 and then, you know, and then I'll come back home. And, you know, I'd love to start producing with other people, producing albums for other people, you know, working in that side of the world. Um, some as well but I, you know I love performing and as long as I'm young and can still you know drink to keep up with my performing might as well do it <laughs> <laughs> maybe you do live harder than me uh, this is Robert DeLong I'm Brad Nolan we're at Click 98.9's Acoustic Lounge and you can see that performance at click989.com we're gonna go drink now <laughs>